Well, hello Year 4 and welcome to your final week of Term 3 and we're going to start the week with our good old reading comprehension. Now, you might notice some similarities in the what this week. We are going to once again be answering questions on a piece of text. Some of you might be going, why Mr Ball? The reason why? We really need to develop these skills. We really need to understand the type of questions we're answering so we can really, really become confident in tackling any reading tasks that come forward. So let's go straight into it with the same challenge we did last week because it's great to be testing our knowledge. So we've got our totally porcelain McCain, look, can gang, they're looking really cool. That's what I'm getting to. So we're gonna go through a few little ones here. So you know the drill by now. Here is someone here. Can you guess who it is? Bit of a clue there. Can you guess who it is? Pause the video, come back in a minute, and we'll show you who it is. Right, welcome back, hopefully. You can tell me it's predicting Pip. Read through the slides again to give you a little bit more information about what she asks you to do and the sort of questions you might expect from her because we're going straight on to this fine, gentle dog here. Have a guess who it is. Pause the video. You know the drill by now. We'll give the answer in a couple seconds. So hopefully you told me that it's Arlo the author. Again, it's very similar to Victor Vocabulary. Instead, this time we're looking at why the author has chosen certain words within the text. Again, read through what's on here, pause the video if you need to, or look for the slides if you print them out to give you an idea of the sort of things we're looking for there. Moving on. Hello there. Right, who is this? Again, pause the video, have a guess, come back to me in a couple seconds. It's good old inference, Ziggy. You want to get your magnifying glass out if you have question times like this. Again, please pause the video, explore the sort of things that you'll be looking at when you're inferencing, and move on in a second to our next one, which is this one here. Who is it? Pause the video, come back to me shortly, and we'll go through in a bit more detail what this fine dog is talking about. Okay. Hopefully, you can tell me it's Victor Vocabulary. Again, this is all to do with words and the context and meaning of words, and you'll have to explore around the text to understand that. Again, more details being left on the slide, so pause it. You know what to do by now. But moving on, who is this? Hopefully, you should recognise her. We've done a lot of work on this question type at the beginning of the year, and from what I saw in class recently, you're getting really good at doing this. But pause the video, and you know what we'll do next. Yep, it's summarising Shiva. We're looking at key points with this particular question type. Again, pause the video if you want to read through this in more detail to re-sort of acquaint yourself to what we learned last week. And we're going to move on now. Who's this? Again, you know what to do. Pause it, guess it, come back to me. Yeah, it's Cassie the commentator. This is one we're still going to do a little bit of work on there as well. But the idea here is that you're commenting on changes that have happened in the text or comparing similarities and differences between a range of texts. Again, pause it to give you more of an idea of the sort of question types you're looking for. We're going to move on now to our next one. Nice and easy. Pause it, come back to me. You know who this is. We'll see you in a bit. It's Rex the Retriever. This is the question type we're all really strong on. This is there to literally tell us to find the information in the text. And with that, hopefully, we have our totally awesome gang sorted out, like I knew. So, today, you have got a couple of tasks. If you are one, you're going to read through the Monday reading text one PDF. Questions are on the reading text, answers are on a separate piece of paper. Hot and spicy, your activities are combined today. Um, we're going to go through some of the questions and answers in a moment on the slides. However, if you prefer, you have got an answer sheet available to you as well. So let's get on with it. So really key today is to read the question, identify what question type it is, and highlight any key words. So let's just point out a couple to you right now. Why has the writer put the information in boxes? Now think about your totally awesome gang. What type of question might that be? Hopefully, you've indicated that it is an author-based question, because it's talking about why the writer, and hopefully this will work this week, why is the writer, jackpot, why has he put information or she put information in boxes? So think why would you do that, what's the purpose behind it, and understand that. 
And your next question, what does the anteater use to help it eat? Hopefully, you'll understand that's a Rex retrieval question. Normally, what indicates that you're looking in within the text, so you'll find the answer in that. Your third question, do you think all birds pick and peel fruit in the same way that a toucan does? For this, it's going to be more of an inference type question. You are going to have to read about the toucan and then use your own kind of knowledge too, a little bit of catty commentator in that too, to compare to other birds and see what makes that bird particularly special. If so, why do you think that the uh, oats nut has a special coat? Again, you're going to have to read for the text, hint the clues, make do a bit of comparison again there as well, and understand why that's the reason. Why is a table like that above a good way to present information? Again, look at the table, you're commenting on it, you're thinking why that works. How do you think that the howler monkey got its name? In this point, you're going to have to look at the information on the howler monkey. It will give you the clues you need for that. And then why do you think that the ultralet, I hope I said that, hunt at night? Again, you're going to have to read about that. So find the information on that to give you the clues that you need for that. So pause the video, attempt the questions. I'm going to put the answer on the slides in a minute for you to look through. If not, of course, use that text. So make sure you pause now. Pause. Good stuff. Right, we are coming back there, just double checking. So if you haven't used the answer slides, um, or the answer sheet, shall I say, pause the slides now, because there's lots of red ticks going on there. Make sure they match up. So if you haven't used the sheet, pause your video now. If you have used your sheet, welcome back. And if you have paused, nice to meet you again. And here are the answers to the questions that we went through earlier on. As you can see, we don't need much of an explanation right now. You are just using what the text provides and your own clues and what's up here too, to help you answer them. If you haven't used the answer sheet, pause the video now. If not, use the answer sheet and I will see you tomorrow. Take care.